Formula One, the world's largest annual sporting event with a television audience of one billion watching 19 races live, taking place on four separate continents. It's a world about speed, not only on the racetrack, but in the factory, where a virtual race takes place every day. Performance in Formula One is determined by four key parameters, drivers, engines, tires, and aerodynamics. In terms of drivers, you've got to have the best. Engines can't be touched, as we're in a world of frozen engines, and tires are the same for everyone. So that's why the Renault F1 team places so much emphasis on aerodynamics, using the wind tunnel to create downforce and minimize drag. But for the aerodynamic designers, times are changing, and the future is all about computational fluid dynamics, a tool that is revolutionizing the design process of Formula One cars. This is a big step. It's an astronomical step for, uh, for Renault team for the future, this is sure. Basically, it's a virtual wind tunnel taking place in a supercomputer, a technology enjoying a rapid growth thanks to the development of computational capacity. These techniques represent the future and it's an attractive proposition for potential commercial partners and technical partners to come on board and work with us uh, for the future. C'est un outil au service de, de, de l'équipe, du team ici. C'est un outil qui doit contribuer à l'amélioration de la performance de la voiture. Je pense que c'est un outil dont nous sommes fiers et euh, nous attendons maintenant les résultats sur la piste. In 2007, the Renault F1 team decided to create the CFD Center, starting a race against the clock. ABM was chosen to implement the construction of the building, which took 267 days from enabling work to practical completion, with constant attention paid to planning and environmental concerns. There was two reasons that we put the building underground, really. One, it's um, a contribution towards to a, a green effect. Um, obviously, a building underground maintains a very stable temperature. Uh, secondly, um, we have constraints on planning requirements in this area because we are in the middle of the countryside. Um, so we've decided, based on those two things, to actually dig out a very large hole, maintaining all the soil on site, which obviously saves a huge amount of, of movement of vehicles to take it away from site, and put the structure underground. And we've looked towards this curved concrete precast structure to achieve the results for that. The local authority are very interested in promoting new buildings that are demonstrating clear environmental um, sympathies uh, and so we conceived a building that was underground, it's low level, very little visual impact on, on the local uh, countryside um, and then it benefits from environmental uh, issues because it's underground, it's very easy to control the temperature, it's very uh, energy efficient uh, and, and we think that's a good statement that the company is making for the future. 24,000 cubic meters of material was quarried and maintained on site to enclose the 25 sections of modular concrete block surrounded with a damp proof membrane. This ultimate aerodynamic laboratory is now hidden 1.5 meters below the ground. Reminiscent of a James Bond movie set, the CFD center welcomes its engineers into an exhibition hall. To the left are the CFD research offices. 